Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be playing Greedy Cave 2. So we played the first one before, but apparently the second one does not work on emulators, so I'm using uh, mirroring on my phone. So, yeah, so I'm recording for my phone this time. So with that said, without further ado, let's get in. Hold up, can we find any secrets? Last time we found secrets. So they still have the like interaction. Well, say, did the spooter die? Did we murder him? Nah, the crazy spooter just all by himself. Oh, that's some interesting bats. Oh, that skull looks pretty cool. I want nothing to do with that. Let's say, dude, Jesus, how far is everything over here? Haha! -ha. Loop. Okay. Can we stop loop looping everything? Okay, let's go with. I'll see you guys inside. Kind of regret, <laughs> regret exploring and pushing all that stuff. So you can choose male or female. I think the first one you can only choose like Mel, if I if I remember correctly. So what is the Mel as? Eh, pretty standard stuff. All right, I've chose everything. I think we're gonna go with the female. Checking my battery. We should be good. Alright, still pretty much traveling like the first game. But this one looks way closer, way more 3D, polished. I see. Still plays like the first one, too. I'm sorry if there is a little bit of lag. For me, playing the game right now, it's smooth as hell, but for you guys who are watching, will probably be a little bit choppy and laggish behind. Kind of sucks that developers are really against emulators. Because emulators are the best way to get more players in because most of us only stick with emulator as for myself and I don't really have a lot of room for like in games anymore so I have to remove this game as soon as I'm pretty much done just because I don't have enough room on my phone So if you're not sure what this game is, it's pretty much a dungeon crawler slash roguelike. Your goal is to survive until you get out of the area that you're in. And if you survive... Oh yeah, well, here's pretty much what happens if you die. <laughs> you lose all your trophies, progress, and you only take gold rarities if you die so there's like these little altars that create that are like around the levels that you can make them gold rarity or gold quality that you can keep and hold on to if you die but the rest of the gear if it's not gold quality it will be lost so those altars are actually pretty damn useful
But that was in the first one. I'm not sure if those altars still exist, though. Funny, I still didn't put the, any of this stuff on. That's okay, yeah, I have to drag it over. The honest, the game looks really nice. Alright, so we have tasks now that we have to complete. We also still have the skill functions. Is it basically like the first one? Oh, nope. We used to have like a lot more choices than this, I think. Okay, no, no, we didn't. This is actually a lot more choices from the first one. Ah, here it is. So if you want to increase like certain elements of your character, like power, healing, defense, stuff like that. You would get skills for that. Like there used to be like a HP drain. Yeah, here it is. This is actually pretty neat that they kept it. My special self not using the new sword or weapon I have. But it's alright, we have a heal. Oh wow, that's a pretty good heal. Wait, someone wearing a robe stops you. It's a merchant who ran away. Here's an escape scroll. You can use it to return. Oh, this fire bat's gonna have to catch these hands. I'm sorry, sir. I need this. Ah, so basically, escape scrolls are basically like your I want to take all my loot with me button. Yep, basically what I was talking about. Yep. So the game is kind of like high risk, high reward, unless you have like the right stuff. Hey, skin unlocked. Ooh. And these are all the other players just lurking around. I mean, we can, sure. Uh, how are you going to pop that up in the middle of dialogue? <laughs> Say, hey, dude, you want to click this? Get through the dialogue first. <laughs> that means I'll probably have to restart my phone. Once we get through the dialogue, we should be fine. I hope they don't bring me to the tutorial again. This guy just looks like he sleeps with all his loot. Okay, no. I didn't have to change it. Still gonna be pretty damn laggy and skippy for you guys, though. It just looks better with the frame changes for some reason. <laughs> There's a chest in here. Oh, those. I'm sorry, I don't have those. Fresh out, dude. I mean, get times I gotta tell you games. I can't be throwing money around. 
Ah, and my and my ping is like high as hell. Why is my ping so high? Well, you're in America and then you, your ping is high as fuck. Alright, take me to the dungeon. What's this? The character must be level 15. Okay, so they have a directional pad too. Oh, the will thing. Yeah, I, I want to try my luck actually. No. Nah. Okay, really? Game. There you go. There, I spent it. Get my gold. Thank you for my gold. I don't even have a code. Who's this guy? Oh well then, don't don't catch my attention if you don't want me to be over there. Gotta be level 26. Huh. <laughs> really? Okay, so basically like storage. Oh my, who is this? I was just an appearance changer. Where's this new skin that I got? So I could refollow myself. There it is. I don't think I can actually wear it though. Sadly. Back into the dungeons we go. So those are all the loots you can actually get through that area. Oh, that's funny. It's kind of like the first, the first one's a uh, starting area. We can come over to this guy and buy stuff before you start. I would normally buy potions from him. Because the potions are like super helpful. You don't really need anything else, to be honest. We now have the backpack. Let's go. Adventure! Make sure to also break pots too for like extra loot. What if they still have like normal crafting system where you find like bat wings and stuff like that? Oh, so you can see monster information now. I hold on. I'm trying to click over, but the game takes me over there. It's kind of weird doing that because it does that for some reason, and I'm just holding in one place. There needs to be a hold for like dialogue, then just release, and it stays up on the screen until you click off. That's that's really. Not all that good. 
Alright, so that's the mana region. So yeah, as you guys can see, I'm taking a lot of damage already. This game is pretty damn unforgiving. So you gotta look out for that. There's also traps. Did I forget to say there's traps too that pop up now and then? A new combat skill. This is normally where you can choose which route you want to go down. You can either keep going up top or you can go down bottom. Go for more HP or for your next triple attack to do more damage. I'm pretty sure it only allows you to choose one too, if I remember correctly. Because then when I if I was to choose this one, this would be off limits. I wonder if it's still the same way. I don't know, we're about to learn today. Question is, is the sword better though? It is better in damage, but not better in blocking. What the hell was that outside the stage? You see something flying around. Yeah, Greedy Dungeon was pretty fun for me. I played the hell out of it. Why do I feel like... Okay, I was, I was just feeling like I was a chest we could open. Cave Leech. Dead. Oh yeah, they do. They still have the... Um, enhancing or, and crafting system. You also don't encounter things by walking. <laughs> Sorry about that. How much is my phone on? And we we will be fine to the end of the video. Oh, okay, we got a escape scroll. Cool. Exactly what we needed. If you want to look at the map and see if you explored everything. There you go. Apparently there's gold over here that I missed. You guys should have to move to it. You can't like auto move or anything like that. Oh, a fragment piece. So yeah, that's also lure in the game too. And there's also hidden passageways as well. I probably should have saved that until I was done with this uh, creature over here. But you know. Alright, down, up. It's weird that my ping is just like this. Alright, so where's X? Okay, it's over here to the right. Yep, take me to the next floor. I'm ready. fight you guys for that loot. 
so we got ourselves another ring. Or an actual ring that we can keep this time. And some enemies are affected by certain elements too. Whoops, wrong thing. So some can be affected by dark, some can be affected by water. It really depends. Oh, attack buff. We didn't have that in the first one. Interesting. Guess that stays just like for a couple of fights. Not sure if it's like a time thing. Okay, so it's up there. Ooh, a rare chest. They could kill him. Ah, guard decker. Way better. So until I can turn this gold, I have to be pretty careful. Okay, so we got... Okay, we didn't get a skill point. But we leveled. Those are like boxes and stuff flying. Like rubble. Okay, that explains why my frames are dying over here. <laughs> that explains a lot. Okay, go over here. Grab that. Go back. So, I think that was the healing scroll that I've had picked up. Anything over here? There's another attack boost for this guy. More fluid. I don't think anybody would want to pick that up by choice, but you know, if you gotta survive, you gotta survive. Oh, and a guard. Sure, there's just buffs all over the place. Along with, like, some heals. So you can move faster across the dungeon. Oh, there's another one. Sweet. Actually, go back. Ah, you can see when it runs out by looking at the buffs. You can barely see it, but yeah, we got new shoes. Like if you're into roguelike games, then this is definitely one of the games you should try out because the series was actually pretty fun. 
Ah, my attack and my speed buff wore off. Alright, we're gonna finish, finish this floor and then we're gonna call it there. Another fragment. That's the end of that path. We gotta go over here. Who the hell would actually fight fire? <laughs> That's a new one. We got ourselves a witch's death now. I want his goad. most of our mana, right? If it comes to that, then we could just switch back to the sword. I don't know. It actually doesn't. But I guess if we had spells, that would be extremely useful. So until then, that would be the best thing to have on. So we actually start getting spells. I got another rat. So far I don't see any of those uh, altars that turns certain items into code. Well, not certain items. Any item you have into code. unfortunate but that's where we're gonna leave it guys I'm gonna use the scroll get up out of here just in case I ever decide to you know play again and re-download the game unfortunately right now I got to uninstall it just because I got other games that if they don't work on on emulator I gotta download it on phone but yeah we are back now. For some reason the game had some issues and turned off. But yeah, with that said guys, I'm going to be ending off here. Um, my thoughts on the game, actually better than the first one to be honest. Because the first one actually was pretty fun. I can see this one being like just as fun. Uh, I would recommend trying it out if anything. I definitely recommend trying out the first one before you get into the second one and just see how much more different it is. Because there's definitely a lot of different things. But with all that said guys, I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. to lose.